the Chuck Lockhart Distinguished Service Award recognizes lifetime achievement and dedication to the Cape Cod and Islands Association of Realtors and for devotion to community service and demonstration of fairness, integrity, and cooperation with fellow Realtors. This award honors the association's longtime CEO and past president, Charles F. Lockhart, who has given an extraordinary amount of time, effort, and resources to ensure the viability and success of the Realtor organization. The 2021 recipient of the Chuck Lockhart Distinguished Service Award is Dave Bisbee. Hi, I'm Dick Neitz, and uh, I'm very proud to be here today and pleased with the selection of the, of the committee for the Chuck Lockhart Award. Um, David and I go back a long way, um, almost 60 years, I hate to say that, but uh, we were both in high school together at the same time, but at different schools. He was at Barnstable High School and I was a junior at, at uh, Dennis Yarmouth when we first met and uh, had a good friendship. We had a mutual friend that put us together and uh, we ended up being junior Rotarians for the Hyannis Rotary Club when we were in high school together. Then some, kind of went our separate ways off to college and um, both came back to the Cape in the early 1970s and rekindled our friendship and our wives uh, got to know each other and our families got to know each other and we're still friends today after so many years. So it's been a, been a long time. Um, when I was president of the uh, Cape Cod and Islands Association of Realtors, in 1985 and 1986, uh, David was my treasurer, and we were kind of the tag team that attempted to build a new association headquarters building on Station Avenue in South Yarmouth on some land that the, that the association had acquired uh, for that purpose. But uh, it was a little premature, and the membership decided they didn't want to spend the money, and they ended up spending probably twice as much to build this building that we're sitting in today. But um, it was a those were pretty, pretty good times, and 1985 and 86 were very, very active times for the real estate industry. David continued on. Um, I served on the board for 20 years and got off in 1990-ish or so, I think. And um, David uh, uh, kept active in the board, and uh, after I kind of stepped back a little bit, he stayed on um, in different committees. I know he was on grievance and membership and a few other things. And, was always seemed to be always seemed to be there when there was a need for an ad hoc committee to step forward and to volunteer for that, and um, also was um, uh, very active in a variety of other activities in the community. But he was also um, uh, for the last 30 years the chairman of the Yarmouth MLS committee and on the MLS uh, board for the for the for the uh, for the association. So. It's well deserved. He's done a great job over the years, and very, very loyal and committed to the association. And um, if if there was ever a task that uh, was looking for volunteers, he was among the first to step forward. So I'm very, very pleased and uh, happy that he's been able to to step into the uh, elite group that's uh, received the Chuck Lockhart Award. Um, I have very fond memories of, of Chuck and Karen and. David and his wife Judy, who's passed away just a few years ago, uh, and my wife and I would, would often travel to different conferences away and different conventions out of the country. And uh, we always had a good time, and Chuck and Karen were always fun to be with. So I know this award means an awful lot to David uh, because it's a, the Chuck Lockhart Award, and I was fortunate enough to receive it uh, in 1998, um, a long time ago. But uh, it's it's. It's, it's really it's a proud moment for me, and I, I know it's a very proud moment for David, too. Well, Chuck, Chucky and I go back to when he worked for John Drew Real Estate, and they had their office down on uh, West Main Street, down by the uh, West End Rotary Circle. And it was back then, again, we had multiple listing uh, as far as doing it. And when multiple first came in, it was strong in the town of Barnstable, strong in Yarmouth, but that's where it stopped. Um, so we got to know each other then. Then when uh, our former executive officer, when she retired, you know, he was, we got together and said, who can come and lead our uh, organization and really be accepted right off the bat? And there were six of us 
sitting there and five out of six came running up with one name and that was Chucky. What was your reaction when I called you to tell you you were receiving this year's Chuck Walker Award? What did you feel? Emotional. Um, it was the farthest thing from my thought as far as knowing it. I've known about this award ever since you've named it. Um, and I've known many recipients that have received it. And I guess after you've worked in the business as long as I have, you don't think of awards anymore. You don't, you know, I just do my thing. And to be honored to, to have the Chalk Locker Award is something that I never dreamed of having, nothing that I went after as per se, but just like I just saw Chuck a few minutes ago. Uh, that's the friends. We could have talked for hours as far as what we did, how we did it, and uh, the good times and the bad times. But to be awarded this award uh, as far as the Chuck Lockhart, it's the greatest honor I've ever had.